What makes Israel's FF-35 as deadlier than even NATO's most advanced fighters? It's not just the jet, it's how Israel transformed it into a battlefield ghost. From secret upgrades to unmatched combat strategy, you're about to see why Israel's F-35 Uvs dominate the skies like no other. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating topics in modern air warfare, why Israeli F-35s are more lethal than NATO's. The F-35 Lightning Kai is already one of the most advanced multi-role stealth fighters ever built, used by top air forces around the world. But Israel took this jet and re-engineered it to an entirely new level, their version known as the F-35 FUI Adir, which means Mighty One in Hebrew, isn't just another imported jet. It's a platform tailored specifically for Israel's defense needs, optimized for survival, intelligence, and precision strike operations in the most complex air defense environments. In this video, we'll break down the secret behind its superior capabilities, exclusive Israeli technology, and battlefield results that stunned even Western analysts. Stay tuned as we reveal how Israel's unique integration of weapons Electronics and real-world combat experience turned the F-35EI into something NATO pilots can only dream of, a true ghost in the skies of the Middle East. When Israel joined the F-35 program, it made one thing crystal clear, it wouldn't settle for a standard model. The country demanded full integration rights, allowing its engineers to modify the jet's software and systems. That's how the F-350Y Fadir was born, a uniquely Israeli variant of the fifth generation fighter. While NATO allies like the UK, Italy, and the Netherlands operate baseline versions controlled and updated by Lockheed Martin, Israel gained something rare, technological sovereignty. This meant Israeli developers could install homegrown electronic warfare suites, advanced radar systems, and custom command and control software directly into the jet. The result, the ADIR can communicate with Israel's entire defense network, including ground radars, satellites, and missile systems like Iron Dome and David Sling, all in real time. That connectivity gives Israeli pilots unmatched situational awareness and combat adaptability. So while most F-35s follow US command protocols, Israel's Adder can fight its own war using its own code. It's not just an aircraft, it's an independent flying cyber system perfectly tuned for Israel's unique security challenges. One of Israel's greatest strengths has always been electronic warfare. And that's where the F-35 truly shines. Israeli engineers have integrated a custom EW suite that can jam, deceive, and even manipulate enemy radar networks without revealing the jet's position. Unlike NATO's standard F-35, which relies heavily on US data links, Israel's version runs on indigenous technology designed by companies like Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries. This independence allows the aider to adapt instantly to new threats. If enemy radar shift frequencies or anti-air systems evolve, Israeli specialists can reprogram the jet's EW algorithms within hours, not weeks. In combat terms, that's a decisive advantage. It means the ADIR can fly deep into hostile territory, remain unseen, and neutralize threats before being detected. Reports suggest that during covert missions, Israel's F-35Is have already flown into heavily defended zones, mapping enemy radar sites and relaying data for future operations, all without triggering a single alarm. NATO's F-35s, while advanced, still rely on standardized NATO software updates. Israel's version evolves faster, smarter, and deadlier. Another major reason the F-35I stands out is its unique weapons integration. While NATO's F-35s carry standard US missiles like the AIM-120 AM Armin J Dam bomb, Israel's ADIR can deploy a much more versatile range of indigenous weapons. These include precision guided bombs like the SP series, the Python 5 air to air missile, and even experimental drone launched munitions, 
all seamlessly integrated into the jet's internal weapons bay. This flexibility means Israeli pilots can execute custom strike missions perfectly matched to regional threats. Whether that's taking out a, hit, a hidden missile site in Syria or intercepting a drone swarm over the Mediterranean. What's more, these Israeli weapons are optimized for minimal radar signature, preserving the F-35I's stealth advantage. By integrating local armaments, Israel turned the Adir into a multi-mission weapon system capable of adapting mid-flight. NATO's F-35s bound by strict alliance protocols and software locks simply can't modify loadouts with this kind of freedom. In short, the Adir isn't just stealthy, it's unpredictable. And in modern warfare, unpredictability equals survival. Here's the biggest difference, real combat. Israel is the only nation to have used the F-35 in actual combat operations. Multiple times, the Israeli Air Force IAF has flown F-35I missions over Syria, Lebanon, and even Iran linked targets. These aren't simulations or training flights. These are live, high-stakes missions where failure isn't an option. Through these real-world engagements, Israel gathered priceless combat data, refining both the aircraft's performance and its tactics. NATO nations, in contrast, have primarily used the F-35 for exercises and patrols. Combat-hardened systems and crews in ways training never can. Each Israeli mission helps engineers upgrade software, improve radar evasion, and fine-tune targeting precision. The result is an F-35I that learns from every mission and evolves after each strike. It's not a theoretical stealth jet anymore. It's a battle-tested ghost. When NATO pilots discuss stealth, they talk about potential. When Israel flies stealth, it talks about results. That experience gap makes all the difference in a real war scenario. Modern warfare isn't fought by single platforms. It's fought through networks. The F-305I stands at the center of Israel's digital battlefield ecosystem. Using advanced AI-assisted systems, the jet instantly connects to Israel's satellites, drones, ground radars, and missile defenses. This creates what experts call a digital dome, an invisible web of shared data that gives Israel total air dominance. For example, when the F-350I detects a threat, it doesn't just react, it shares that data across the network. Within seconds, ground-based air defense systems like Iron Dome or Arrow can engage the target. Drones can reposition and nearby jets can change formation automatically. NATO's F-35s operate within broader allied networks, but Israel's system is uniquely optimized for instant battlefield decision making. AI algorithms continuously analyze data from every source, allowing the aider to respond faster than any human could alone. This means by the time an enemy radar locks on, the F-35I has already countered, evaded, or destroyed the threat. It's not just stealth, it's intelligent warfare in motion. One of the least known but most powerful aspects of the Adir is its open architecture software. Israel negotiated with the US to gain access to core mission systems, something no other F-35 operator has. This lets Israeli developers customize mission data interfaces and threat libraries at will. In practice, this means the F-35I can adapt, can adapt to a new theater of operations within hours, not days. Israeli intelligence can instantly upload new data about enemy defenses or weapon signatures, and pilots receive an updated combat interface before even taking off. NATO countries rely on centralized updates distributed by Lockheed Martin and approved through alliance channels, a process that can take weeks. In contrast, Israel's decentralized approach allows near real-time innovation. This flexibility gives the ADIR an unmatched edge in rapidly evolving conflicts. Whether facing advanced radar systems or new missile types, Israel's F 35i can evolve faster than the threat itself. It's a perfect blend of stealth, speed, and adaptability, the very definition of modern dominance. The F-35 is famous for its stealth, but Israel's version enhances it even further. Engineers have integrated radar absorbing materials, specialized coatings for desert and urban operations, 
and optimized flight algorithms for Middle Eastern air conditions. Every minor detail from paint composition to heat signature control has been refined for Israel's regional missions. These upgrades help the Adir operate in one of the most heavily monitored airspaces on Earth, surrounded by advanced radar systems from Syria, Iran, and Russia. The jet's radar cross section is so low that even advanced S-400 systems have struggled to detect it during Israeli operations. In addition, Israel's customized threat detection algorithms can identify and jam enemy radars automatically without pilot input. It's stealth with intelligence. NATO's F-35s share the same baseline stealth design, but Israel's refinements give it a decisive edge in survivability and mission success rates. When a nation faces real threats daily, perfection isn't optional, it's standard procedure, and that's exactly what the Ader delivers. Technology alone doesn't win wars, strategy does, Israel's air combat doctrine is built around preemptive precision, meaning strike first, strike accurately, and vanish before the enemy can respond. The F-35I fits perfectly into this philosophy. The Israeli Air Force trains its pilots to operate autonomously, make rapid decisions, and coordinate with ground intelligence in real time. Missions are short, surgical, and often executed deep in contested airspace, the F-35I's stealth and intelligence systems make this possible, allowing Israel to neutralize threats before they escalate into full-scale conflict. Unlike NATO's broad coalition-based strategies, Israel's doctrine focuses on national defense efficiency. Each pilot becomes a data node in a live network, capable of commanding drones, guiding missiles, and updating defense grids, all mid-flight. This fusion of doctrine and technology transforms the ADIR from a mere stealth jet into a complete warfare ecosystem, faster, sharper, and deadlier than anything NATO currently fields. So why are Israeli F-35s more lethal than NATO's? Because they're not the same jet anymore. Israel has taken the foundation of the world's best fighter and rebuilt it into a customized, combat-proven war machine. The F-3050 Avadir isn't just about stealth or speed, it's about control, adaptability, and autonomy. From indigenous weapons and electronic warfare to AI, powered coordination, and real combat experience, Israel's version represents the future of fifth-generation warfare, while NATO still fine, tunes its systems and coordination, Israel is already writing the next chapter of air dominance. Every upgrade, every mission, and every byte of data brings the Ader closer to perfection and pushes its rivals further behind. In a world where technology evolves faster than strategy, Israel's secret isn't just having the best aircraft, it's knowing how to use it better than anyone else. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Israel's F-35 Adir, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss more military tech breakdowns like this. Drop your thoughts below. Do you think NATO can catch up or has Israel set a new standard for air superiority? Let's discuss!